1906, the Mexican general Santa Ana captured the Alamo. In 1969, another Mexican general is about to try again. A general who can't lead and an army that won't follow are about to recapture the Alamo in the most hysterical non-war that ever rocked Texas. No, no, we're closed! We're closed! Alamo has fallen, but the fun is just beginning. You're not fooling me. You're working for the Chinese communists. Who? Oh. Maybe we could drop leaflets in Spanish, asking them to give themselves up. Leaflets take too long to make. Well, maybe we could get them zero. Maybe we could set up some big public address system amplified. Yeah. It's come with a sort of a sexy voice, kind of a Alamo rule. Wait a minute. Forget it. Sam Gillison, M.D. Now, don't talk. You just listen to me, Sam. It's all beginning to happen just like you said it would. What's story? Where are you, Aunt Hetty? Shh! Now, listen, Sam. Sam, the Chinese communists have taken over the Alamo. Alamo? Bust out the ammunition. I tried to tell you. You didn't tell me to bring no ammunition. Red for retreat. A red flare for retreat. A green flare for attack. Have you got that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no! Meanwhile, back at the Alamo... <laughs> Salud! Perhaps we should send you home, senorita. No, I'll stay. I must talk to you. I have a special interest in you. Well, what do you know? They pulled out on us. No, folks, this is not the end, but you'll have to see it all to believe it. heroes are born, some are made, some are simply mistakes. Take it from me, Jonathan Winters, you must meet Max, the most magnificent mistake of them all. Viva Max!